Hi there, hope you're all doing well. I'm kicking off October with this female orc stalker from the Lost Adventures Co. It was black and white zenithly primed and I get started with sentient turquoise for all of her skin. This is going to be a snow orc so she will have a bit of a bluey skin tone in the end. I'm also trying to stick with the triad system for this mini just to see how it turns out. If you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments below. You can also join Discord using the link in the description where you can share anything you have been working on. For the mid-tone of her skin, I went for Cursed Blue, just aiming to leave the darker tone in the recesses while going over everything else. To finish up the skin and bring up the most prominent parts, I used Raygun Glow. The skin is a little too blue for my liking, I was hoping to give it a bit more of a green tint so I washed the entire thing with green tone wash, just hoping to stain it back to where it should be. Moving on to her hair, I start off with evil eye red. Since I had this out I also dotted in her eyes as can't really have an orc without red eyes. To shift the hair to the more pink colour that I want, I used Perisher Pink over the sculpted strands on the model. Finishing the hair up I used hot pink and just brought up the very tips of the strands and the ends. Getting started with all the fur parts around her clothing, these all get base coated with cold corpse blue. Bringing up some of the first strands I used wolf grey, I don't aim to cover all of these strands as just enough to add some variation is all you really need. Just to bring up the very tips of the fur now, I used Gravestone Blue. I don't try it again for full coverage as I just want to pick up some of the very tops of some of the strands, just for variation. For the remaining bits of clothing except her boots and the leg warmer things, I went for a base coat of Fury Green. The 
first highlight on the clothing gets done with Gun Ho Green. This is more of a scratchy highlight, just adding some subtle lines and a bit of more sort of texture to the fabric. To bring up some of these sharper edges and add some more variation, I used Cobalt Grey. Moving on to the cloth around her waist and what looks like leg warmers, I went for a base layer of Ashen Grey. This still has that bit of green tint to it and will blend them a bit more. Getting some highlights in, I used Eidolon Grey. Just went over the tops of the folds and any areas facing upwards. The final highlight is just to bring up the very tips of the folds and this gets done with a rodent grey. Now onto the base, boots and weapon handles, I get started with Burnt Umber. To bring up the weapon handle and the boots, I used Paladin Flesh. For the boots, this is just a normal highlight over the raised parts. For the weapon handle though, I tried to add in some wood texture as it looks like it should be there, but my printer just didn't print it out. Finishing the boots and the weapon handle off, I grabbed Griffin Claw, just repeated the previous steps but in a smaller area. Now onto the metal parts, I went over everything metallic with Dwarven Iron to start off with.
Next up, I used the Surcoat Silver to bring up all the areas facing upwards and around the dents that she has in her armor. Finishing the metal parts off, I had a bit of an edge highlight with a mithril blade. I was wondering what the axe would look like if I added a bit of colour to it, so I grabbed Caribbean turquoise and painted over the engravers in the centre. Being an express colour, it just tints it in there and just leaves that silver shining through. And that will be it for the Orc Stalker. I'm still not sure why I printed her out as she's been sat in my box for a few years now since the Kickstarter first delivered. But it was still good to practice on a different type of mini and I'm pretty impressed how she came out without the washes. Except the skin as I couldn't leave that without a wash I wanted it to be green. If you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments below. You could also join Discord using the link in the description where you can share anything you have been working on. As always if you want a closer look at this mini check out my Instagram page. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Most importantly though, be kind to each other.